Ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. Comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. Comedy Act 147. Hey man, I was at the bar all night last night. All night long, all night, you know, and I was doing coke all night long and I was like snorting whiskey and drinking coke. Snorking whiskey and drinking coke. Yeah, man, I was snorting whiskey and drinking coke, man. And I'm telling you, man, drinking coke all night long. Whoa, man, you know. And so, man, we, uh, my the bartender, beautiful blonde, beautiful blonde, we get into a trivia, you know. And, and all of a sudden, the Brady Bunch came up, you know, on the trivia, you know. And, and I mean, I was, like, breaking it down, you know. The Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, there's a story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, and they were all alone. Till the one day when this fellow met this lady, oh yeah, I met this lady, and she had three lovely daughters of her own. They were four women living all together. Till they met me, and then what happened? They all became the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, you know? And we were like naming off, you know, Mike Brady, Carol Brady, you know, Greg and Peter and Bobby and Marsha, Marsha, the pretty one, Marsha, you know? And then of course, Cindy, and wait a minute, we forgot about Jan. Don't forget about Jan, <laughs> poor Jan. Everybody forgot about Jan, you know? And uh, so then the uh, bartender, she's like, what about Alice, you know? Alice did the cleaning, woo! You know, and then all of a sudden, the bar patrons, they had to get involved and they're like, you know, well, what about the meat, man? You know, you know what's on their mind. They got meat, they're a meat pecker. They got meat. They got meat pecker, you know? And then the guy yells out, you know, hey, Al, you know? And man, what do you do? What do you do? You break it down again, you know? You can call me Betty. Betty, when you call me Al. You know, you can call me Freddy, but don't call me Betty anymore, because my name is Al. You know, hey, man, throwing crazy things uh, at blondes has become like this adventure in, in, in the United States of America, you know? It just makes blondes think. And uh, so I said, well, hey, 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 have you seen I Dream of Jeannie? And she's like, yeah, I dream of Jeannie, you know? And I said, well, what was Jeannie's name? Do, 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 <laughs> you know? What is Jeannie's name, you know? But hey man, you know what? Yesterday I had like the worst hair day you could ever imagine. Bad hair day, bad hair day, bad hair day. And my hair's like, it's all bushy and everything, standing all up, bushy everywhere, you know? And I call up my hairdresser. And I'm like, I need a haircut, you know? And she's like, well, all right, Dan, I, uh, I'll put you down, you know, I'll put you down. Uh, and I'm like, all right, man, I got an appointment. Five minutes later, I call her back up. And I'm like, I got to cancel that appointment. You know, and she's like, what's up, Dan? What's up, man? I got your number on the wall. You know, I mean, she was like tripping, man. Dan, I got your number on the wall. You know, remember that number? Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. I got your number on the wall, you know. And I'm like, man, I'm sorry, baby. I gotta cancel. And she's like, well, what's up? What's up? What's up? I said, well, I went into the bathroom, 
and I've brushed my hair, and it looks good, man. It looks good. You know, I mean, what do you think? You know, and so she said, uh, Daniel, I got your number off the wall. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I got your number off the wall. And I'm like, okay, I'm canceled. I'm canceled, you know. Hey, guys, you know what? I created this Facebook profile, you know. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. You know, you got to create a profile on there, you know, and, and you got to be true with yourself and with your friends. And so I'm like, I'm on there, you know, and of course, you know, whew, I have accepted all friends. Everybody that sends me a friend request, I'm like, yes, 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 ignore. Yes, 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 yes. Ignore. I mean, who is this ignore over here? I, I have no idea. Ignore. Ignore. I mean, it's like, what is going on here? Ignore. I mean, it's like my fi this finger right here, it just wants to hit ignore. This one says, yes, 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 you know. And, but it sometimes it, it gets this finger, ignore. So, at any rate, man, once you do that and you go to your Facebook page, you get all of your friends is all their gossip, all the gossip going on throughout the whole world. And all that's on there today is women complaining about their boyfriends and breaking up with them and calling them jerks. They're jerks, you know? I mean, get over it, girls. Men are jerks, you know? And so, I mean, I'm like, I, I kind of want, wanted to do this comedy act for these women that uh, believe men are jerks and also for the people out there that are nasty to me because uh, they are also jerks. And, but what I want to say is, is that most men are jerks, but all men are jerk-offs. All men are jerk-offs. All men are jerk-offs. You know what I'm talking about. Jerk off, and man, this goes out to the real jerk off out there. Hey, it's coming up on Halloween, and I wanted to remind you that last year you put peanut butter around your lips and went out as a butthole. So remember this year, put the peanut butter around your lips because you are a butthole. You can see it in your face. You are a butthole. You got peanut butter around your lips. Lips. Jerk off.